Parashat Shmini contains the laws of Kashrut, which animals, which birds, which fish are permitted for consumption, and those species that are not permitted for consumption. Now, the Torah never really gives us an explanation. It doesn't tell us why this particular animal is kosher, why this particular bird is not kosher, why you can have this fish or, or this insect for that matter. It never really tells us. And there's a great deal of speculation as to why the Torah would tell us that we can eat this and we cannot eat that. But one thing's for sure, that food is more than just about feeding yourself and, and giving yourself nutrition. Food is also a way of people to connect together. It is something that binds socially. And people, when they eat together, they lower their defenses. Certainly when they drink together, they lower their defenses. And we are able to connect to people in a very, very real way. And that's why the Talmud tells us that when we extend hospitality to a person, we're able to draw them in. And if we fail to extend hospitality to people, we actually push them away. And it gives examples of this. Yitro. Yitro, who was the father-in-law of Moshe, he wasn't from the, the nation of Israel. He was an outsider. He was a Midianite. In fact, he had been an idolatrous priest. But when he came out to the wilderness, Moshe went to greet him and prepared a meal for him. And they ate together. So the Talmud says that you see how great feeding somebody is. Because when you eat together with them, you can take people who were previously far away and bring them close. Yitro was far away from the Jewish people, but he came close to them because we extended to him hospitality. By the same token, we read about the nations of Moab and Ammon, who were in fact relatives of the Jewish people. But when the Jewish people were out in the wilderness and they wanted to have a passage through their land and they were prepared to buy water and supplies, Ammon and Moab absolutely refused. They came out to, to wage war against them and they certainly didn't give them anything to eat or to drink. So here we have people who were close, cousins, and their failure to offer hospitality actually distanced them. You know, a person can come to spirituality, can come back to Judaism through hearing an incredible shir, through learning the Talmud, but far more people have come back to their roots because simply they were invited over for a Shabbat meal and they felt that warmth and they enjoyed that food and it was able to bind them together. So perhaps what the Torah is telling us when it speaks about the laws of kashrut is it's creating for us, as it were, a global Jewish menu. This is what we do. We're going to eat these foods together because we want the Jewish people in the world to bind together and to become a unified nation. And when we extend that hospitality, we're able to bring people, even people who are far away, we're able to bring them closer to us. I wish you a Shabbat Shalom.